What's up guys, this is Vaya and today we're gonna create this amazing glitch effect in Photoshop without any third party plugins. So, pretty quickly I'm gonna just show you the before and after effect. So this is the after and this is the before. So, I'm gonna show you what I did. So, first of all I made a selection of the model right here, as you can see. Then what I did was add some textures onto the skin you can see like the lines right here so after that i created a glitch effect using the displacement effect and you can see like that and i just removed it from the face you can apply it on face as well if you want then highly distorted image so after that i created a rgb split effect like this okay and after that i created this small dark glitch right there you can see and after that i created another small dark effect of glitch right there cool and after that i created some glitch particles so you can see it looks pretty plain and simple but after the addition of glitch particle it looks more interesting and I just add a curves layer to just darken the glitch okay and that's it I used a curves adjustment layer to throw in some contrast okay so I'm gonna show you how to create this so let's get started Okay, first of all, make a copy of this layer, press Ctrl, press J, and we need this to selection, cool, and grab the pen tool, and just make the selection of the model, I'm gonna go pretty quickly on this, but you can obviously take your time and do it properly, well, the selection doesn't need to be too perfect, but it should cover the entire model okay let's see okay so we're gonna just click in here selection and further reduce to two pixels hit an ok and we're gonna press this layer mask icon so we have successfully created the mask and with that we have successfully created the selection so now we can just duplicate it and apply layer mask. Okay, now we're gonna go to render and fibers. Okay, so I'm gonna just decrease the variation a bit and increase the strength like so. Hit in okay. Cool. Now I'm gonna just duplicate it one more time. I'm gonna rename this to lines and just apply the layer mask right there. Rename this to texture line. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna just place the texture line layer above the lines and we're gonna change the blend mode to multiply. And we're gonna create a certain mask right there. Cool. We're gonna decrease the opacity of this texture and the fur amount. Uh, we, we just want it a little to appear on the face. Okay, that looks good. Cool, now we're gonna group it up and rename this to texture. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna just duplicate it one more time I'm gonna place it above place it just above it and we're gonna rename this to say glitch okay we're gonna just apply this layer mask and now we're gonna open the displacement map image in Photoshop so you can find the link for it in the description box below Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. 
uh, bring regular contents regarding some cool stuff and uh, photoshop retouching and editing so make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you like this video please hit the like button below okay so we're gonna just open this image in photoshop place it right there and now we're gonna just go to file save as and we're gonna just select psd and we're gonna rename this to say something like texture i'm go simple on this uh you can see this place in my psd right there i created this for the original example this is the same steps you will need to use for okay we're gonna save it okay now we don't need this we're gonna close it and we're gonna go to filter select this layer right there the filter and the stock and displace okay we're gonna select um, somewhere around 125 right there at the horizontal scale and 65 at the vertical scale so we're gonna press in okay now we're gonna select the texture we just created boom we got the clutch effect right there okay so we're gonna just Create a mask right there and select the brush tool at opacity 100% and the color to black. I'm gonna just erase it from the face like so. Because I just don't like it on the face, so that's it. Okay, then we're gonna just duplicate it and we're gonna select this tool right there and holding it. Control key, we're gonna just increase it like so. Rush tool right there, make it bigger and we'll just erase it. The parts I don't know, so just don't want it there. Cool, so I just have some feel you can see, like that. It gives a nice contrast to the glitch. Okay, so we're gonna just Duplicate this selection one more time and I'm gonna place it above and just uh, layer, apply layer mask. I'm gonna name in this group glitch to cool. Now we're gonna go to filter, the start, displace, and we're gonna set this to 250 by say, by say 100. Okay, cool. I'm gonna select this texture layer again. Boom! There we go. So we have like this thing. So you can see like this. I'm gonna just place it somewhere on there. Looks good. I'm gonna place it below this glitch effect. And I'm gonna just scale it. Like so. Something like so. That looks good. I'm gonna create a layer mask and I'm gonna select this gradient tool. And I'm gonna just remove this area right there. Okay, cool. And now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the brush tool and I'm gonna remove it from the face again. Cool. So we have like cool structures going out there. I'm gonna select the white color. I'm gonna just bring in some of the details right there and select the gradient tool one more time and I'm gonna remove it so that it doesn't look too much. Okay, cool. 
and I'm gonna just make it multiply. Cool. Okay, I don't like this right there. So I'm gonna just choose the black color. I'm gonna remove it. Okay, let's see. Okay, cool. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just select this glitch, the origin glitch. I'm gonna duplicate it and go to effects, blending options, and I'm gonna just turn off this channels R that stands for red. So I'm gonna turn off it and hit it OK. Now select this tool and I'm gonna just move it a little and you can see like great RGB split happening. That looks cool. So I'm gonna just just duplicate it one more time. I'm gonna place it above all of them. I rename these two particles. Cool. I'm gonna just apply the mask, and I'm gonna just go to the start, and I'm gonna search for shear. Okay, I'm gonna select something like that. Cool. Hit it OK. Okay. And I'm gonna go to the start wave. Uh, increase the number of generations and the wavelength. Something like that. And the amplitude. Cool. I'm gonna hit it OK. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go to the start the, this place and I'm gonna set it to something like say 500 by 350. Cool. And select this texture again. And boom we have the particles right there so let me just place it something like that and we'll just make a layer mask right there Pre layer mask and i want to just brush up. And I just brush off the extras right there. Cool. So I'm gonna just duplicate it and I'm gonna just go to the edit, transform, and flip horizontal. Cool. I'm gonna place it somewhere that looks good. I'm gonna group it, Ctrl plus G, and create a layer mask. Rename these two particles. And I'm gonna just remove it from the face. Use the brush tool. Just remove it from the face, like so. Cool. If you want, you can just add a little bit on the face as well. This is my preference, you can choose anything you want. So that looks pretty dope. And we're gonna create a curves adjustment layer. Right out the particles and select the clipping mask. I'm gonna just maybe pop a bit. That looks good. And I'm gonna just group it up. And I'm gonna use the Glitch. Oh, well, I'm gonna create a curves adjustment layer. Oops, and select this and just add a little bit of contrast to the image. That looks good. Okay, 
and grab it up again. Glitch. Okay, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon so that you never miss an update. Also, if you like this tutorial, please hit the like button. Uh, if you have any query or feedback, the comment section is all yours. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.